yeah. All right, welcome back. In this episode, I'll be showing you an entry-level look at uranium glass. Probably one of the coolest type of glass that you can have in your collection. Aren't you getting tired of glass, Morgan? No, and, well, no, and especially not uranium glass. And you're gonna be pretty amazed if you don't know about uranium glass already. So in today's episode, I'll be going over what uranium glass is, how to spot it. I'm gonna show a quick little experiment that I did just for fun. And then lastly, we'll have a quick overview of the market and the price of uranium glass. So grab yourself a drink, whatever, let's check it out. Well, as the name implies, uranium glass is glass that contains uranium. And one of the properties of uranium is that it fluoresces when ultraviolet rays hit it. And a quick throwback to chemistry class, uranium is a natural occurring chemical element. You can find it on the periodic table, symbol U, atomic number 92, just in case you're wondering. Uranium was discovered in the late 1700s. In the 1800s, glassmakers somehow figured out that by adding small amounts of uranium to the glass mix, only one to 3%, the finished glass would yield this nice green yellow color, depending on what type of glass they were making. And you might be thinking to yourself, uranium, the same element that's used in nuclear bombs and nuclear power plants. Well, yes, that's exactly the same thing. The same uranium used in those application were also used in glass production. So while uranium glass was very popular from the 1850s and onwards, by the time 1940s come around, scientists and the US military discovered the science and technology behind nuclear fission and the atomic bomb. A ban is placed on all commercial use of uranium as the military need all the uranium they can get their hands on for the war effort. This ban essentially marked the end for the commercial use of uranium in glass. Although the ban of uranium was lifted following the end of the Cold War in the early 90s, by then glassmakers had figured out other ways or, or other ingredients to use in order to get this green color to their product. And large scale use of uranium in glass production was never seen again. So how to spot it? So if you wanna go uranium glass hunting and confidently assure yourself that the glass you have found indeed has uranium in it, you have to buy yourself a UV flashlight. Here, I got three pieces of glass. Under normal light, it can look like number one and number three might have uranium in it. And number two is just a normal glass. But when we turn off the light and light them up with a UV flashlight, we see that number one definitely has uranium in it, whereas number three has no uranium in it. And interestingly, number two is lighting up as well. It looked like normal clear glass under normal light, but under UV light, it is fluorescing. So this piece also has uranium in it. And I can only assume that glass number one has a lot higher uranium content than glass number two. And before I move on to my little experiment that I ran, I have to mention a quick detail regarding regarding UV flashlights. There are two common types of UV flashlights that you will find online. One that emits in the 365 nanometer spectrum and one that emits in the 395 nanometer spectrum. I'll attach a link to an article in the description box that explains the science behind this. But basically, the 365 nanometer will illuminate glass with lower uranium content better than the 395 will the 395 kind of washes away some of that fluorescence. So I guess it depends on what you're looking for, but I've been using the 365 just because I want to spot anything that has any uranium. Maybe I'll switch over to the 395 one side. Only want to get glass that has high content of uranium. And they're only like 10 to 20 bucks a pop. So I recommend that you get yourself a UV flashlight if you're going to estate sales or if you're going to a thrift store and, and want, to find, want to find some uranium pieces.
So we know that uranium is radioactive. Well, I wanted to see if I could detect any levels of radioactivity emitting from these glasses that I got right here. Plus I got a few ones sitting over to the side. I bought the cheapest Geiger counter I could find on Amazon and it was like $100 for this thing. Kind of pricey, but whatever. I picked it up in, in the name of science. So I removed all of the uranium glass from the table. I turned on the Geiger counter and I let it sit around for a few minutes just to establish the baseline level of radioactivity in the background. I'm measuring in CPM, meaning counts per minute. And basically that just shows you the number of ionizing events being registered every minute. I don't know if it has any effect to stack them this way, but it just seemed logical to me. And as you can see, the Geiger counter is picking up on radioactivity. That's pretty cool. That is probably the coolest thing about these glasses besides the, the fluorescing is cool, don't get me wrong, but the fact that this is radioactive and you can detect it, that's sweet. This collectible is truly radioactive. And let me just say, these levels are totally safe. This nuclear radiation safety guide that came with a Geiger counter shows which levels are safe and anything from five to 50 CPM is harmless. All right, and let's finally talk about the market and price. Well, it's hard to give an exact number on the price of uranium glass because with, like with everything, it all depends. Obviously things like condition and rarity matters, but with uranium glass, you kind of have two different types of people buying them. You got collectors that only collect uranium glass simply because it has uranium in it. And then you have this other group of more specialized glass collectors that will collect different types of glass, such as Vaseline or custard glass. And although those type of glass contain uranium, that's not the main reason as to why they collect them. Well, with that in mind, however, we can go to the sold listings on eBay and see that overall there is a big market for uranium glass. Simple pieces start at a few dollars, but very quickly, you see an increase and unique pieces can fetch big money. Since most people are unaware of uranium glass and the cool properties that they have, you can often pick them up really, really cheap, especially if you do a sweep at an estate sale right before it's about to close. You just go in there with your UV flashlight, see if there's anything that fluoresces and you can get them for pennies almost. I only paid, I don't know, one to five dollars for these things. These four glasses here, I paid a dollar for. These two here, I paid a dollar for. And this one here, I actually paid five dollars for, but this one's pretty cool. And before I wrap up this episode, I'll just throw out my prediction regarding the future value of vintage and antique uranium glass. I think that nuclear energy will most likely become our most important source of clean and safe energy in the future. And with that, I'm thinking that a renewed public interest and awareness of uranium will emerge. This is not investment advice, but if you have uranium glass laying around, hang on to it. That's at least what I'm gonna do. And whenever I come across a piece that I think is uranium, or if I come across a nicer piece that I know is uranium, I'll definitely pick it up and add it to my collection. All right, that's it. I hope you learned something today. I hope you learned something about uranium glass. I hope you got a little inspired to maybe go out and find some pieces yourself, because these things are pretty cool. If you haven't done so, consider subscribing if you want to see videos like this. But if not, that's totally okay too. And until next time, stay timeless.